All right, well, we're not dropping frames anymore. <clears throat> I don't know what that issue is. It seems to go away when I reboot. Anyway, we're gonna play some Dude 2. Um, let's jump into it. Arrakis, known as Doom. Land of Sand. Home of the Spice, Melange. The Spice controls the Empire. Whoever controls Doom controls the Spice. The Emperor has proposed a challenge to each of the houses. The house that produces the most Spice will control Doom. There are no set territories and no rules of engagement. Vast armies have arrived. Now, three houses fight for control of doom. The noble Atreides The insidious orders. And the evil Harkonnen. Only one house will prevail. Your battle for doom begins now. Right. So. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so last time we played, uh, we started with the autos campaign and we played through, I think about five about five scenarios. Uh, the plan for today is to do six, seven, eight, and then possibly the other eight as well, because they diverge. Let's go. Acknowledge. Can upgrade the construction yard, which will give us the ability to build bigger concrete slabs. Yes, sir. Moving out. As opposed to just the one by one, we get two by two. Affirmative. Reporting. Affirmative. Use of initial scouting. Construction complete. Now we're over sort of here. Okay, there's a little bit of spice. Acknowledge. Reporting. Affirmative. Construction complete. But not. Igno yes, sir. A Moving lot out. super visible at the moment. Reporting. Acknowledge. So I'm going to try and plan my base a little bit. Report. Affirmative. Reporting. Acknowledge. Construction. Okay, complete. all the spice is going to be out the front. Report acknowledged. Reporting acknowledged. Report acknowledged. Construction complete. So. Reporting acknowledged. Oh, and there's a bloom Construction just there. Construction complete. Moving out. Okay. Report affirmative. Reporting. Spice bloom located. So we're gonna put the refinery. Report, affirmative. Basically, there. This is the mission I think where we get the starport. Yes, okay. 
So they need to factor a 9 by 9 building into all this. That can probably go here. Because we got a 2, a 2, a 2, and a 2. Yeah, that'll work. Reporting. Report affirmative. So June 2 Answer. is a little bit. Moving in. Report acknowledged. Interesting, because it was essentially. It, it really was the first real-time strategy. Um, there were games before it that had similar properties. But at the end of the day, it's actually the uh, developers and publishers of Dune 2 that coined the term RTS, real-time strategy. So, really, they own the name. Construction complete. We'll get to claim ownership of it anyway. Uh, refinery. Reporting. Affirmative. Reporting. So. Acknowledged. Affirmative. And I'm trying something a little bit different today. Um, there's a setting with this headset that allows me to play some ambient sound um, in the regular audio stream. Reporting. So I'm trying that out to see if it's interesting at all to have like keyboard and mouse clicks and so on. So you should be able to just about hear it. But I've tried to tweak it so it's not super loud, super annoying, just in case you don't like the sound of other people typing. Construction complete. Ordos harvester um, What's next? We really do need radar. Reporting. Uh, Reporting. Radar is going to become more and more important in the early parts of later missions. Affirmative. Simply to keep track of what's going on. Reporting. Affirmative. Re um, affirmative. Being able to easily spot enemy ambushes Reporting. that come in. Oh, there's tons of spice up here. Acknowledged. Construction. Uh, ambushes, making sure I know where all my units are at any given point. Uh, yeah, I'll pop it there. Radar activated. This is the mission where we get rocket turrets. I don't want to build that. Turrets, what else is what's what else is new here? Siege tanks, which are super heavy. These are basically the heaviest tank that every uh, every faction can get. I don't see. No, this is a bit too yeah, a bit too early for ornithopters. Once you start getting missions with ornithopters, which are basically the flying, you know, the aerial uh, attack unit, the first thing you need to start building is rocket turrets, because they are the only really reliable way of bringing them down, and they will chew your base apart very quickly. Now I'm hesitant to explore too much of this in case I disturb a sandworm, and there's the way the way that works is every map is basically predefined. Construction um, complete. In between missions you pick sort of the next part of the map that you go to and it generally gives you two or three choices and there's like a set map for every every region that's on the map. Um, can't build that yet, I'm gonna need to buff up with a little bit more power because those things take a ton of power. Affirmative. Yeah, so there'll be two sandworms that are somewhere on this map. And the moment that they are discovered by driving near them, or opening terrain near them, uh, all of a sudden they will start their attack patterns, they'll start going for stuff that's on sand. They will eat up to three units that are on sand, and then disappear on their own. Or they can be killed, brought down by regular uh, fire. Um, from tanks and quads and so on. That takes forever though, and is very difficult. Acknowledge. Affirmative. Uh, simply because if there's anything else that the worm can go and eat on the sand, it will go to that, and they go fast. There is no way to follow one with tanks. If you try to follow a sandworm with tanks, um, chances are very good it will simply be eaten. Yeah, let's rush to the starport. Report affirmative. Report affirmative. Yes, sir. Moving in. Reporting. And we're getting close to the point 
where I have to start thinking about ambushes. So at two points during um, the regular mission, and this depends a little bit on which exact version of Dune 2 you are playing, but this is valid for this version. We can see sort of lovely primitive pathfinding here. Construction. Telling it to move and it just isn't finding a way through. Acknowledge. Um, at two points randomly, uh, fairly early on, I think sort of 10 and 15 minutes or so in a level, uh, the enemy will bring in a couple of carriers or one carrier with a bunch of units and they will be dropped randomly at a point around your base. Reporting. And what I'm doing here is carefully spacing defensive yes, units around the base. Not necessarily to quickly run and destroy whatever gets dropped. Warning, worm sign. Oh, that is very unwelcome. Okay. So what's happened there is we've disturbed an enemy unit. We've also disturbed a sandworm. And the sandworm is going to go for uh, everything that's on sand. Because it's already eaten the <clears throat> the enemy missile launcher, uh, I could in theory throw two of my units at it and it will just immediately eat them and die, or disappear rather. But, especially in this very early game, my units are particularly valuable to me. So I'm going to choose to... <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know what's going on here with my throat. I'm choosing to lure it to a point where my units can attack it. It's not moving anywhere because it can't see any other uh, targets of interest on the sand. Any moment now. There it goes. So once you get a sandworm beyond half health, it disappears, so it looks like they have a lot more health than they actually do. Um, so the other thing that happened there, because this uh, quad of mine got close enough to an enemy uh, missile launcher that was just sort of hanging around, um, not patrolling, but defending the area, it went for my quad and started to attack it. Reporting. But then before I could do anything more, uh, the worm appeared because I'd... Acknowledge. The missile launcher appearing cleared enough space Report. around the, sp the around the sandworm for it to become uncovered. Yes, sir. Moving out. And... Uh, I was hoping these would... Oh, that's pretty cheap. Okay, I'm going to let the this harvester uh, dub all 700 credits, then I'm going to look at the prices again. If the carryall is still 640 credits, I will buy one because that's fairly cheap. Um, they're normally 800 to build, and they vary between 400 at the very cheapest, Reporting. and basically the full price, 999. Let's see, have the prices changed? No, they have not. Uh... Should I buy nothing? The regular price for harvesters is 300 to build one. 420 is almost as expensive as they go. I think I'm going to hang off buying anything at the moment. It's going to slow my Construction overall complete. economy down a little bit, but... Reporting. Affirmative. If we just wait a moment... These 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 prices change every uh, minute or two. So if I hang out and just sort of build some concrete, which is not very expensive, Construction. I'm still kind of furthering the plan for my base. Construction complete. Fortunately, okay. Yes, sir. Moving out. All right. Yes, sir. Back to this stuff. Moving because out. the first sandworm is already dead. I feel very confident in leaving these units sort of yes, out, um, out on the sand. 
reporting. I'm gonna place him on the concrete because that'll be really quick for him to drive around. Reporting. Same for this guy. Reporting. Cord can go here. This guy can go here. Okay. Reporting. Affirmative. Now, spacing units out like this isn't going to necessarily help me destroy things quickly uh, when they are landed. Like if, um, say it's right here that two tanks and like a quad gets dropped or something. Um, what will happen immediately is my rocket troopers yes, here will fire some rockets at one of the units. That unit will then become distracted and attack them. Uh, second and third units will be placed. They will start attacking whatever is the most valuable uh, structure in my base at any given time, which I think is going to be the starport at this point. Perfect. Harvesters go down to about 240 credits. I've just bought them at 270, which is an okay deal. And buying them specifically means Reporting. my harvesting operations are going to be basically Reporting. three times as fast. Simply because of how much I'm able to harvest at any one point. The problem is I'm still going to be micromanaging that until I get the carryall. Acknowledged. Frigate has arrived. Also, now that I'm going to have three harvesters in the field, I should probably build a spice, so uh, spice storage silo. Um, every refinery and silo can store a thousand credits worth of spice. Bordos harvester deployed. Construction complete. Bordos harvester It's exactly deployed. the same concept as in Command and Conquer, where you had the silos that were required to store uh, Tiberium. It's risky placing them early, especially with two ambushes ready uh, and about to happen, because these are the weakest structures in the game. The other thing that I could do... Yeah, see, the price of those has gone up to 999. It's fairly random. Trikes are down to 120. Those would be really cheap as scouts, but I don't need those right now. That is not a priority. Rocket launchers. I will buy some of those. They will be needed because uh, autos cannot build missile tanks. But not right now. Not right now. What I should do is start building out complete. concrete and space for turrets. Construction. I'm going to hold off building any more factories for the time being. Um, Reporting. Construction complete. Let's get this guy up north a bit. Let's get him to finish his scouting a bit. Affirmative. I'm avoiding building the factories for a bit. A, because they're quite fragile, and B, um, I'm not going to build that much my own uh, on my own in this game. What I am going to do... Ah, look at this. This is beautiful. This is industry. Report, report, reporting. Problem is, they're all going to finish at about the same time, and then I'm going to have this stream of harvesters coming back. If there's any chance I could snag one of those for 400 credits, I will try and do it. But no, I think it's more important just right now to get the construction yard upgraded again. We did the first upgrade so we could build the big concrete. We've just done the second one so that we can build rocket turrets. Warning, a trade's unit. Here we go. Reporting. Uh. Affirmative. Reporting. Cool. Yes, sir. Infantry out. Yes, sir. I'm gonna lose Reporting. more units than I should. Reporting. Affirmative. Reporting. Affirmative. Acknowledge. You can squish them. Acknowledge. Getting the tank down is the priority. Yes, sir. Moving out. Get the quad off my concrete if I can. There we go. Because if he's sitting on concrete when he blows, he destroys the concrete, and then that's really irritating. Okay, this is cool. That was dealt with really nicely. Uh, I lost a little bit of. Gosh, did I lose anything? I don't think they even really touched the um, 
My structures. Okay, at this point we're going to check for prices. Yes, that's an okay price. I'll buy one of those. Reporting. Affirmative. And of course yes, we do sir. get some more Report. useless yes, units. Yes, so, yes, this trooper unit got downgraded from three guys to one. That happens when the trooper unit gets below 50% health. Um, but I didn't lose that unit, which is great. Reporting. Quad got below 50% health, which means he's going to be a little bit slower to move around. Yes, sir. Moving out. And then of course, Reporting. after the ambush, you get more units appearing. What are the prices doing? Still high. Actually, Bordos let that finish. Because number three will start coming in. Complete. Bordos unit launched. Okay, what I've just done there is tell this harvester to harvest again, but because he's full, he's immediately stopped. And instead of walking all the way back to the refinery, he's been picked up by the carryall. Which is really good for efficiency. Prices have changed again. That's, yeah. I think I'll stick with the one carryall for now. It's not good enough value to me at the moment to buy another Warning. one. A trade's unit approaching. It is absolutely good enough value. Warning. So we've built these turrets though. Unit now what we need to do... What we need to do is bring my, tr my quad here up into this dark area. And I'm doing... A bunch of things at once here. One is keeping enemy units out of visibility as much as I can because units that are off screen update much more slowly. They move more slowly, they fire more slowly, which means my turrets get. My turrets get a little bit more time to shoot at stuff. Oh no. No, 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 no. Okay, he's being picked up. Report. Acknowledge. Reporting. Acknowledge. Concrete. Okay. Re Acknowledge. Reporting. Ah, uh, he might yes. not make it. Yes. These guys will. Report. Affirmative. Okay, he's made it. And I've got a tank. Okay, I need to very Report. carefully manage this, because this officer is about to be placed back in the spice field. And that one is not going... Possibly because he's going for this guy, which he can't get to. Okay. This quad is in major danger here. But remember to check this. They are stupid expensive. Uh, Welcome, Jeff and Frankie, then. Frankie the cat. It's lovely. Acknowledged. Acknowledged. Report. Acknowledged. Okay, there is a lot going on right now. I might go quiet at any point. Acknowledged. Ah, oh, bad. Bad, 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 bad. Affirmative. A trade's unit destroyed. Uh, he's not getting killed because they're all going for that. Sandworm has just eaten the other Warning. unit. A trade's unit approaching. Okay, he's hanging there. He's going after that tank now. Now my harvest is doing. They're a bit damaged, but not a concern. We have plenty of power, so I'm going to build some more of, more of these turrets. Ah, beautiful. Now, things do go out of stock at the start port, basically at random. Yeah, I'm going to buy a fourth harvester. Okay, cool. Both the sandworms are dead. That attack is gone. Um, reporting. I have a fourth reporting. harvester and the second and third carols arriving. Life is good. I'm gonna up these CPU cycles a little bit because this game is struggling a, a little Frigate bit. Has arrived. 
Okay. So. Ordos Harvester deployed. Ordos Unit launched. Ordos Unit launched. Okay, this is beautiful. We are very well set up. Acknowledged. At the moment, we have enemy units coming in. That's fine because we've got a the start of a fairly strong defensive Reporting. stronghold here. Yes, sir. Now. Reporting. I think I'll build one more turret about here because they seem to be aiming for the starport. And my system of carryalls and harvesters will just continue generating money. Those are out of stock. I think they might come back in stock later on. I'm not exactly sure how this is uh, governed. Oh. This is the perfect time to buy some of those. Okay, so the way the starport works, I've just submitted three separate orders for the same Warning. unit. The Atreides unit uh, they will all arrive when this timer hits zero. And in fact, if I can buy another one, They're out of stock, okay. But the thing is, if I did add something else to this order, uh, even moments before the... Oh, this is cheap enough, I'll just demonstrate this. So I've ordered this at the absolute last moment. Frigate has arrived. So in that order, I will get three rocket tanks and one quad. Trades unit destroyed. Ordos unit deployed. Ordos unit deployed. Ordos unit deployed. Right. The first thing to do with these is to get them the hell away from my base. They are very inaccurate when they fire. They are very damaging when they fire. They are the embodiment of chaos. They're great for assaulting a base with, they're awful for base defense because they will end up destroying your own stuff. Construction complete. Construction complete. Now I'm going to build. Report, acknowledged. I should probably start setting up for the second ambush. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Moving out. Reporting. Affirmative. Especially now that. Reporting. Okay, he's waiting to return. Reporting. So I only have the one refinery for four harvesters, which is slowing things down a little bit. But the way I'm going to be spending money in this game, that's okay. It's going to be a slow, gradual thing. Um. Oh, whoop, 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 whoop. Report, report, affirmative. That's yep, super bad. Out. Trades unit destroyed. Construction complete. Acknowledge. Uh, Report. Crap. Affirmative. Reporting. Affirmative. Reporting. Affirmative. Report. Affirmative. Ordos unit destroyed. Yes, sir. If it's re affirmative. Right. Repair that. Repair that. Warning. That was nearly destroyed. Trades unit approaching. <sighs> Yeah. I'm already running out of space for uh, spies. Okay, we're down to one unit. So I could just buy a million off. That would be useful. Well, they're just the tanks at this point. Reporting. Unit so the reason I've done that is because I hit the maximum number of credits of spice that can be stored by a single refinery in a single silo. The quickest way to drop your money in a productive way is to buy a ton of stuff at the, at the um, starport. 
So I've not wasted any of that money that was coming in. It's given me time to build up another couple of Frigate silos. Construction complete. And I'm even going to get some units out of it Bordos that unit are actually useful. Unit deployed. Unit deployed. So Bordos I think... Unit deployed. Yeah, wow, okay. Five tanks is a lot to summon up here. Gonna do one more. Unit one more turret because I don't like the look of. Oh, hello, reporting. siege tanks. Reporting. Reporting. Finally, I get the big tanks. Unit destroyed. Okay. Reporting. Witness the power of the rocket tank. Construction. Unit Slow, destroyed. inaccurate fire, but deadly, unit destroyed. given enough random chance. Okay, more stuff is going out of stock here. Okay. <clears throat> right, having had the two ambushes, it's now much safer to start building factories and things. Um, so if I put reporting, acknowledge the factory here. So they are three by two. So if I put the factory here, I can put my repair bay here. One more two by two. One more two by two, and then have a space plugged yes, by. Sir. Moving out. Reporting. My one trooper didn't survive that long. Oh no, you yes, did. Sir. Moving in. Yes, moving okay. out. We're good for power for now, so let's get the light vehicle factory built first. Warning, Atreides unit approaching. Report. Report. Gosh, if they're starting to target these tanks, Reporting. I have to get them behind the Reporting. Affirmative. Report. Report. World turrets Affirmative. here. Yep, he is. And you can tell what a unit is going after by the direction in which its turret is pointing. He's going after this tank specifically. Report affirmative. Okay. The trade is unit destroyed. Missing that. Storage capacity low, we've got Okay, it is low. Um now we get to the silly point where we're actually buying stuff at way inflated prices just to keep the money doing something useful. Unit Construction. We're not going to need any more carryalls for a little while, but if necessary we can build a high-tech factory and build more for 800 credits each. Going to quickly churn out some more silos. And this is why I haven't bothered building a second refinery. Because the rate at which I would acquire money at that that way, uh, I would not have had the time in the last the 10 minutes to actually has arrived. usefully use that money. Bordos unit deployed. Construction complete. Reporting. Oh good, it's giving me another launch. Construction um, complete. Okay. I've just completely lost my train of thought. What am I doing? So now that I've built the light factory, I can build the high-tech factory, I can build the heavy vehicle factory, which lets me build tanks, and I can build the repair facility. Which will start here. Um, reporting. Affirmative. Now the cool thing about the launches reporting. is they see the furthest of any other no. unit in the game. The way movement and sight works in Dune 2 is you tell a unit to go to a certain space, it will no. clear sort of a 3x3 a three three space around it as it moves. 
but then when it stops moving, it sees its entire range. That leads to some very funny business, occasionally. When you drive a tank into an area, it stops and then you suddenly notice it's surrounded by, you know, three enemy units. They also move fast enough that once you have them, they basically instantly replace every other unit for scouting. Up until this point, I use quads simply because they're quick enough. They they don't. Oh gosh, I'm gonna need to build heavy factory. Yeah, maybe they'll go after that instead of my tanks now. But in the meantime. Oh cool, because I've built the repair facility, my carriers will start ferrying units to the repair. And then they simply deploy out out of one space of the repair factory, unless unless and until I fully enclose that structure with other structures or walls or units like this. This guy, I can build a structure here, I can build another one here, and then this guy sort of plugs up the hole so that I have the choice where I can move him out of the way if I want Selene to deploy in the base. Construction. Um, well, the other thing that happens Reporting. is that... Acknowledge. Reporting. Acknowledge. Construction complete. Uh, if a unit is brought back by Carriol from, say, the battlefield, it's fully repaired. We're doing maybe some more power. If a unit's brought back to the repair facility from the battlefield by carryall, if it has no way to deploy outside of the building directly, another carryall will come and pick it back up and drop it roughly where it was back on the battlefield. Uh, the effect of which is that if you have a repair facility that is fully enclosed, you have carryalls and you're attacking someone, you can have a continual sort of uh, flow of tanks being repaired and brought back to the battlefront. I'm just going to build a ton of spice hilers just because. Just because. Reporting. Acknowledge. Construction. So this is kind of going back to the way I played this game as a young kid. Uh, I had the habit of establishing my base, getting defenses set up, getting the base. Reporting. To a point where it's reporting fairly self-sufficient. It's bringing in money. It's bringing in, you know, it's got the ability to create more units. Um, and then I start trying to explore the entirety of the map. Approaching. deployed. Which I recognize can be a little bit boring. I tried to avoid it a little bit in the last stream. Just because I didn't want to get too boring, but we'll see how this goes. Because this is this is going very quickly. The other thing I'm doing here is sort of feeling out the uh, the reaches of the enemy. Because there is a base. Probably around here. Uh, the top here to about here is my guess, based on the angle at which stuff is coming up. Slightly up to my base. Um, I am not particularly worried about losing that Reporting. rocket launcher. In the grand scheme of things, it's Reporting. fairly valueless. Acknowledge. Spice blue. I was leaving this splice boom there just in case one of the enemy units happened to run into it. Um, if a unit runs into a splice plume, it disappears immediately. It's just consumed. So that would have been that it had some minor defensive value. Affirmative. 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 Acknowledge. Acknowledge. So the first sign that we get that we're getting near the enemy base is probably going to be this thing getting hit by 
Oh, there we go. Acknowledged. Thought we've annoyed a tank at least. Two tanks. Reporting. Acknowledged. Affirm reporting. Affirmative. Keep moving. Reporting. Affirmative. Yeah, reporting. okay, he's definitely dead. Acknowledged. Warning. We got one shot off into their base. And now a lot of these units are gonna start attacking us. Hopefully I've not been too ambitious by starting to harvest this. No, he's not going for it. Okay, good. So the reason I'm able to sort of hide behind my string of turrets here uh, is because the way enemy attacks work. The enemy builds a unit from one of its production facilities, that unit is immediately told to attack something in the base, usually the most valuable structure, um, which at the moment is the repair facility. They do sometimes also target high value units, um, which is why I'm hiding my two most valuable tanks behind those. Now what we're gonna do... Okay, I'm gonna save my game out of caution regardless of what happens here. I can't remember if I'm allowed to build siege tanks. Uh, the reason I might not be able to is because with the Autos faction, they don't get all the cool stuff. Um, I can't build reporting. Re report. rocket tanks, which is why I didn't have any in the previous mission. Uh, that's because the Autos special unit at the end of the game looks like report, these. Report, re, 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 reporting. And as an added difficulty factor, Trade I can't build destroyed. siege tanks either, even though I've fully upgraded my, my factory here. So, these two are basically the most reporting. valuable units reporting. to me at the moment. I can't buy them at the starport because the starport gives you the ability to buy stuff one level previous, if that makes sense. So I've been able to build and buy uh, combat tanks, I've been able to build and buy those. Everything here since at least the previous mission. It won't let me buy siege tanks because they're new for this mission. Which means, when I attack the enemy, yes, sir. I'm going to need to do it with these two tanks very cautiously, as many combat tanks as I need, which I can build for 300 credits and as many rocket launchers as I can get out of the starport. Uh, they're out of stock. This has come back in stock. That has not. I don't know if I'll get many more of these, so maybe... Affirmative. These three might be all I have. Reporting. Hmm. Okay. We are firmly in the next phase of the, of the game now. What we need to do is scout out the enemy base and find its weak point. Warning, a trade's unit approaching. I'm not going to be able to build any more of these. Um, can do though. What I'm thinking about right now is my economy. do with another wind trap, we're starting to run out of power. Well not run out, but low, relatively. Maybe I don't need one, there's only one more structure I'm going to build here. And the structure I'm going to build is a high vehicle, not high vehicle, high tech factory, which will let me build the carriers. Because if I can't buy them, I need to build them. Defensive units, we can start to gather. I'm gonna guess we're gonna put them up here. Which we do one by one because this game predates the CNC system of dragging a rectangle around stuff to command it at once. Okay. Now we always have a useful outlet, relatively useful, for our money. So when we start getting reports that we've got too much money and we can't put it anywhere, 
or start building some more carriers because they can die and they especially will die on this mission once we start ferrying units back and forth. Reporting. You are empty, sitting there on a spice, whatever. The AI in this game, if I've not mentioned it, is not great. Yes, sir. Um. Construction complete. Ordos unit launched. Okay. This guy I've been planning to use as a plug for my repair facility. I'm gonna replace him with a wall. Yes, sir. Moving. Yes, sir. Reasoning Moving for this out. is twofold. One, the usefulness of having uh, my enemy and my my enemies, my units appear, and my base is fairly diminished now. I'm not going to need defensiveness over here. So I don't need the ability to unplug the repair facility at all at this point. What is more useful is to tell this guy to go to the other side of the map. Now, this kills the trooper because he's going to walk straight through the enemy base and basically die immediately. Which is perfectly fine. The point of this... The point of this is to have him... Yeah, wow, okay, I'm really starting to run out of actual spice to harvest. There is plenty more down here, but as these guys finish, I think I'm going to just... Stop what they're doing. I'm going to move them down there, actually, so that the moment I do want more spice, I can reactivate them. That's one, two, reporting. three, reporting. four. Reporting. Okay. Acknowledged. I'm going to hold this guy in reserve. I'm going to have this guy reporting. keep working away just so that we have some money coming in. Warning. A trade's unit approaching. Alright, how are we doing, guys? Yes, moving out. Bordos He's dead. He's dead. Unit destroyed. Reporting. Oh, these guys have found another spice mine. That's cool. Now, we'll get a whole bunch more units attacking. I'm going to build another turret just so that we have more of an answer. Reporting. That tells us nothing except here is the enemy light factory. Here's their radar outpost. We already knew about uh, this, which is their infantry training thing. Report, affirm, re report, acknowledge. Just gonna nervously save my game anyway. I'm not gonna need to reload. Uh, that is purely out of habit and fear of you know, something crashing or something happening to my computer. These guys are moving in at once. Because at this late stage of the game, enemy base defenses are quite powerful. Oh, this is beautiful. This is very, very beautiful. Having two units mean they last a little bit longer in their scouting attempts. Cool. I'm gonna rely on this guy now because everyone else is going after that one. Reporting. Maybe this guy will outlast them slightly. Okay, that was really useful. Very useful. Okay. We know now that when we assault the base, it's going to happen from the north. For a multitude of reasons. Reporting. Should now be able to build some more tanks. Yes. The reason I can build one uh, more tanks now and not previously is because there is a unit cap in the game which is designed to help the game run on much older computers. Uh, for context, you could buy this game and play it on 486s, which ran at 25 megahertz. Some of them ran at 33 megahertz. They are slowly repairing the heavy factory because it went below uh, half health. Construction complete. Ordos unit deployed. Maybe they've only repaired it to that amount. Okay, interesting. So we're going to attack from the north because all the valuable structures are sort of at the north. If we go straight in, Warning. we have unit approaching. not just a bunch of units to attack, but also a mass of turrets. Now, 
this looks like the only we didn't go over here yet i will send out another unit or two here um but it looks like coming from the north we get a very clean shot at the heavy factory uh that will go down in two hits from a rocket launcher that will be very easy that will halve their ability to build tanks because they have one other factory here once this is gone, we can easily go to the construction yard. Once that goes, they can't rebuild any structures. Their repair facility is also here, which is also really light and vulnerable, which is good. So the attack will be on the heavy factory. Then, as my tanks are taking out launchers and so on, and rushing the turret to kill it, uh, my rocket launchers will move slightly forward and go for the construction yard. And from that point, we'll be able to take the base apart piecemeal. So, reporting. Affirmative. Reporting. Affirmative. Reporting. Affirmative. let's start doing Affirmative. all the reporting. things I just said. Acknowledge. Reporting. Acknowledge. Reporting. Acknowledge. Reporting. Acknowledge. Reporting. Acknowledge. Reporting. Acknowledge. Reporting. Acknowledge. We have a base that, through the virtue of these turrets, defends itself really nicely. We don't really need to keep any tanks in reserve at the base to defend. Build another carrier, reporting. because why not? Affirmative. So, reporting. I think I have three left, yep. Reporting. All three of these guys can start moving up there as well. Reporting. Two harvesters ready to go when needed. Reporting. A third reporting. one. Atreides unit approaching. Construction complete. And Order there's a chance that this launched. movement will draw interest from a tank or something in here. And that'll be fine. How are we doing? What can we buy? Nothing useful. Okay. So the usefulness of the starport is basically gone down. It was very useful early on in the game. It's given us most of the units that we're going to carry through the rest of the game. Yeah, we've attracted a lot of these things, which is fine. We won't go all out just yet until the rest of my units are up here as well. Uh, this is just to help whittle down the defensive units that are here. Don't want to get too close because then the game will start interpreting that as a proper assault and they'll just start sending unit after unit away. And my force here. Now. Affirmative. Report. Affirmative. Reporting. Affirmative. The trade's unit destroyed. There's no real point exploring any of this terrain. Um, some of this we'll get to in the assault. Because there's nothing up here that's going to be useful. We have all the spice that we could possibly need, even if if our entire army were to disappear right now, we have the spice here to rebuild. Affirmative. Report. Affirmative. Um, my mouse is starting to act a little weird, so I'm just going to get it plugged in physically. Alright, let's do this. Report ign report affirmative. Report ign report ign report ign report ign So we'll go for a fairly flat formation to begin with. Report acknowledge. We get the little tanks out front, the launchers right behind them. Report ignore reporting. Bordos harvester deployed. And then these guys will use far more tactically. We might use them to rush the rocket turrets. But here we go. Report ignore report affirmative. Report ignore report acknowledge. Reporting. Yep, so here goes our first unit off to the repair facility. Reporting. Okay, these tanks are in range of a rocket turret. We don't like that. Okay, we've attracted a lot of attention here. 
Report affirmative. Report acknowledged. Reporting. Cool. He's been brought back fully repaired. This guy will be picked up next. Reporting. Reporting. Affirmative. Gonna hide this guy behind other tanks so that these siege tanks can destroy this one. So that carry all came and went because the repair facility is now in use. Just repairing some of my own buildings here. There we go. Right. He's been interested now. Reporting. Okay, this is going to be ugly because the tanks are now in range of a rocket turret. Can move them back up out of the way quickly. Can move the launchers over to the side so they have a clear, clear path essentially. Atreides unit destroyed. Report, reporting. Ignat, report, affirmative. Report, report, affirmative. Atreides unit. Clear path destroyed. to what? A clear path to that. And then to the construction. Bordos vehicle repaired. Okay, there's another turret here. Okay. Report, Ignat, report, Ignat, reporting. Right, let's hit these tanks in position to rush this turret. Affirmative. That'll go down with reporting. Probably four reporting. shots. Maybe it'll take another salvo. Reporting. Meanwhile, these guys. Reporting. Affirmative. Reporting. Acknowledge. Okay, and down goes the turret. Reporting. Affirmative. Target reporting. these guys the immediately on the construction yard. Well, the siege tanks out because he's in range of the uh, thing. Yes, okay, this is going beautifully. While we have this clear window, we wreck all the havoc. Frankie, I hope you're watching. Okay. That's mildly inconvenient. One of our siege tanks has just been taken to be repaired. And I'd really like to have both of them. Uh, I might be about to lose a launcher if that tank gets near enough. Okay, perfect. Atreides unit destroyed. Reporting. Okay. Reporting. Affirmative. I think my siege tanks into position destroyed. to rush this turret now. For some reason, they start Reporting. at 50% health. Affirmative. Let's add in a couple of these Reporting. two just for insurance purposes. Reporting. Cool. The reason I'm using these tanks specifically is because Reporting. the turrets will go after whichever unit appears to them in their range first. If I make that a siege tank, they take the brunt of the attack and they don't get destroyed because the turrets can't put out enough damage in time to destroy it. I might be about to lose this tank. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to move so he only he is in view. Slows down this guy. He's decided to attack a different thing. Reporting. Reporting. Alright. He's gonna get picked up in a second. Reporting. I'm gonna do a funny thing here. Reporting. I'm gonna attack Reporting. my siege tank with my own other tanks to bring his health below 50%. Reporting. So he will also be picked up for repair. There's no way to command the carryalls in any particular way. Uh, I kind of have to trick them by thinking, by making them think, oh, this tank's just been wounded in battle. So let's bring him back. Now, how do we do? We've actually done really well so far. Um, to the point where... I think I might get this guy repaired too. Reporting. 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 
Atreides unit destroyed. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to use my launchers to attack the light factory here. This is bad. We might have to do this a lot faster than I was planning. So, don't kill it. Thank you. Cool, that's gone. Where's my other one gone? He's just been dropped here. Okay, sometimes the AI screws up. The AI of the carrier screws up and drops your Order units near the base repaired. anyway. He's going to be brought back to the right place. This guy, we have to walk to the north a bit to get him around anything that might be waiting here. Atreides unit destroyed. Okay, with that out of the way, we're going to now rush this turret. So. Report. Reporting. Siege tanks to the front. A trade's unit approaching. Affirmative. Report. Beautifully done. Affirmative. Enemy structure. That gives us a fairly free shot into th these things. The moment we attack this, this tank's going to become interested. Which means. Reporting. 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 Acknowledged. Reporting. I'm playing this ultra cautiously, I don't really need to. Oh, this is awkward. Okay, not so awkward. Cool. Go after the heavy factory now. Alright, let's hit this free shot of the wind trap as well. Bingo. Alright. Pull back. Gonna sacrifice a tank here. Come down and see what's left. We've destroyed a lot so far. Okay, there's a wind trap. Some more ancillary stuff. He's not gonna last much longer. Okay, there's nothing majorly of value here, but it is very well defended. So, this is the last thing that we're going to get from this exact angle, I think. Reporting. Atreides unit destroyed. Acknowledge. Tell these two to attack that. Acknowledge. Atreides unit destroyed. Warning, Atreides unit approaching. Atreides unit right. destroyed. Report. Acknowledge. Report. Acknowledge. Atreides unit destroyed. Reporting. Reporting. Atreides unit destroyed. Reporting. Atreides unit destroyed. What's next? Reporting. Let's antagonize some stuff. Let's get this tank into the battle. Reporting. Atreides unit destroyed. A fleet of combat tanks in to do something at least. Cool. This turret is really annoying to try and attack because it's got this column of wall here. Um, oh, there's even this turret out here too. Okay. Actually, if we. No, I'm not going to bother with these turrets because everything I need to destroy is actually over here. And we have a relatively free shot over here, actually. Okay, turret there, turret there. One tank. A siege tank that would have to go the long way around. Alright. Report affirmative. Let's do a bit more tank scouting here. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Reporting. Atreides unit destroyed. Okay, there's nothing left really hiding over Acknowledge. here. Acknowledge. Reporting. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Reporting. Affirmative. Reporting. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Affirmative. Acknowledge. 
Okay. Bordos unit. This is going to be pretty straightforward. We can come over here now. Affirmative. Report. Affirmative. Report. Acknowledged. Reporting. Affirmative. Reporting. And I can afford to be a little bit more careless with some of these units now. Reporting. Acknowledged. Reporting. Reporting. So we still have all three launches, which is really nice. Alright, we've talked this tank into joining the battle, so that's that's a defensive unit the enemy cannot replace. Because we've taken out all their factories to do so. So at this point, we're going to have a continual stream of, of infantry attacking us, because this is still around. They are relatively easy to defend against, though. The key thing is just going to be defending my launches from any unnecessary damage. Uh, like that. Enemy structure destroyed. Atreides unit destroyed. So that happened because that launcher wandered just into range of this turret. Atreides unit destroyed. Bordos vehicle repaired. Gosh, there's a lot of tanks around here. Okay. Atreides unit destroyed. I'm gonna have to get rid of that turret. It's just in such a bad spot. So. Let's do this thing again. They're gonna take fire from a lot more than just that turret, though. This has not worked out like it should. I have misjudged what is required to get this one bloody turret down. Okay. Atreides unit destroyed. Enemy structure destroyed. Atreides unit destroyed. Reporting. Reporting. That was poorly planned. We've lost a siege tank and we nearly lost a launcher. And we got this siege tank skulking around in the background too. Enemy structure destroyed. Reporting. I don't dare get really close either because there's still this rocket turret. So we have to bait this guy in a bit. And that loose with every barrel. And all of a sudden, my little lobby here is looking a lot smaller than it did 20 minutes ago. Okay, this is the moment. Getting rid of this bloody barracks so that they stop pumping these guys at us. Right. Two more buildings left. There's the silo and then the refinery. The silo will go very quickly. Atreides unit destroyed. Acknowledged. Atreides unit destroyed. There we go. Atreides unit destroyed. Now, if we can lure Atreides this tank out, destroyed. we can get a clean shot at the refinery with the launches. Reporting. Acknowledged. There we go. Affirmative. Affirmative. Reporting. Affirmative. Report. Affirmative. Re Acknowledged. Reporting. Don't care about that tank. What's this up here? Reporting. Tank that was repaired and dropped in the wrong place, okay. Reporting. So with him distracted, or dead now. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, he's just at the range where he can target that. But he can't be hit back. He's not going to destroy that, that'll take forever, especially because the turret repairs itself automatically. 
structure destroyed. There goes a different turret. Now, we destroyed this structure, we win the scenario. There's still this turret here, guarded by a bit of wall. So let's tactically take out some of this wall and give our tanks a clean run. is fully repaired it's going to take a lot of firepower to bring it down affirmative Re acknowledge reporting affirmative reporting affirmative acknowledge report affirmative report acknowledge report affirmative report affirmative okay it so i mentioned this at the start it is reporting. not the first computer reporting. game that was ever made reporting. that had real-time strategy features reporting. But it is the developers of this game that coined the term real-time strategy. Warning, a trade's unit approaching. Which is close enough. And why I put the asterisk in the title as well. Also, welcome. Thank you for joining. save here so that I have the option of coming back and picking a different map for the next mission if the next one turns out to be awful. Enemy struck. Your mission is complete. So, mission 7. This is the mission, I think, where we get the House of X, which gives us Deviator tanks, it gives the Harkonnens Devastator tanks, and we'll also be able to build Ornithopters to harass the enemy base. I'm going to pick... left. Why not? So, um, reporting. true neutral EV genius. Affirmative. Reporting. Affirm yes. Where are you Affirmative. joining from? I'm in Australia, obviously. Reporting. Acknowledged. Reporting. Acknowledged. It's a lovely sunny Saturday morning, and I'm inside Reporting. playing computer games. Report. Acknowledged. Acknowledged. Yes. Moving. Report. Affirmative. Construction complete. Okay. Report. Affirmative. We'll go with this map because we're in a really good spot. Reporting. We're far off in a corner, so we're fairly... We're going to be fairly far away from the enemy base. Um, it's fairly rare to have a sandworm be placed behind your base. In terms of facing where the enemy is. Yeah, this is a good one. I know, I'm, I'm familiar with this map. I know what we can do here. So we're in a good spot, we've got plenty of spice to ourselves. got a really good area sort of at the back of the base to plan out where all the important structures are going to go. Reporting. Acknowledged. Report. Acknowledged. Construction complete. Actually, there might be a worm Acknowledged. here. Affirmative. 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 Acknowledged. Reporting. 
Affirmative. Not really, no. Acknowledge. Okay. Affirmative. Affirmative. Reporting. Igno reporting. Acknowledge. Alright. Refinery time. Reporting. So. Yep. So this is a new structure that we can build at this tech level. Um, it gives us the ability to build our special units, namely the Ornithopter. Which is an uncommanded unit. It launches, it flies around, it attacks. Um, I think it goes after high value enemy units first. Uh, its main use for me is going to be in scouting of the enemy base because it will end up revealing every single rocket turret and rocket tank. Uh, basically everything that can fire at it will become revealed when it does fire. Uh, we can also now build the Deviator, which appears in the game exactly the same way as the missile tanks do, which is why we can't by default own them. It is of limited use to me. I don't really like the way that this thing plays and I tend to ignore it in most levels. Then there's this, which is the tank, the special tank of the enemy, the Harkonnen, which is very big, very heavy, very expensive, and very deadly. Um, it's at least as slow as siege tanks. I think the way that it works is that it's about as slow as siege tanks are, but it doesn't get the speed bonuses from being on concrete, for example. The other thing about those is that when they blow up, they explode randomly um, and damage stuff that's around it. It's like a mutually assured destruction thing. Which is really terrifying when they get ambush dropped in your base. Because that is literally devastating. It's what they do. It's in their nature. Construction complete. Order harvester deployed. So, let's get some radar going so we can Reporting. see what's out here. Affirmative. Reporting. Keep Affirmative. this guy moving to clear a bit more um, physical space. Affirmative. Acknowledge. Affirmative. Reporting. Acknowledge. Affirmative. Re Affirmative. Construction complete. Reporting. Igno affir Affirmative. Acknowledge. Affirmative. Affirmative. Acknowledged. Reporting. Affirmative. Reporting. Affirmative. Okay. Radar activated. Cool. So same deal as the last mission. Um, my priorities here are going to be a little more heavily weighted towards getting rocket turrets up. Yes, moving out. Construction complete. First, though, we're going to need a starport. That's going to be the most valuable thing. Construction complete. <coughs> Excuse me. Construction complete. Get some concrete down. I'm going to place the starport over here. Construction complete. A, so that it's out of the way of things. Complete. B, that's a really good 3x3 three three spot for it. And I can start to plan other structures complete. around. So, I'm going to need another wind trap before I do that. Yes, sir. Moving out. Yep. So. Construction complete. Just planning out on my head where structures are going to go. Heavy Order factory can go here. Deployed. Repair will go here. 
I'll have something that's 2x2 two two here, 2x2, two 2x2, two, two two, and that'll enclose the repair facility. It also means it's way down the bowels of the base. The enemy, I think, is up in this corner in this map. So we'll start building turrets. Maybe not necessarily all the way to the ends of this bit of rock, uh, but we can start building them here at least. And that should defend against stuff. They may go for the starport initially, because it is quite a high value structure in my base at the moment. Okay, what can we buy? I'm not going to get those yet, even though they're relatively cheap. That is really cheap. I'm going to take the opportunity to buy a heavy siege tank for 360 credits. That is really cheap. Reporting. I don't need it yet for defensive purposes, but that will come in handy Reporting. in about 10 minutes Reporting. time. Reporting. When the first ambush is dropped. Acknowledged. On that note, I'm going to bring this tank back in. Report. Affirmative. And because I don't have money for anything Affirmative. else, I'm going to keep scouting. Affirmative. Affirmative. Acknowledged. Frigate has arrived. Affirmative. Order Hune deployed. Beautiful. I'm going to put him here. Acknowledged. Reporting. He's in a good spot. These guys are fine. Reporting. This guy. Yeah, that's true. So, the harvesters, uh, they build for 300 credits. They can be up to 450, so another 50%. Or they go down to, I think, 150 credits. So, plus 50, minus 50, I think is... Yeah, that sounds about right. Could buy another one. Let's do. That feels like a good investment. Even though it's going to slow down stuff a bit. Although actually what we might wait on. For the next change, uh, this could go down. And I wouldn't mind a second harvester. Especially this early on. Report affirmative. Bordos harvester deployed. Fortunately, this spice is close enough to my base that this guy gets deployed straight out onto it. Have the prices changed? No, not yet. I'm gonna let this run down to the end, almost. Just in case prices were gonna change, and I'm just gonna buy a harvester. I know that's a lot more, but I've just saved a ton of money on siege tanks. Frigate has arrived. Acknowledged. And as with everything in life, it is a case of swings and roundabouts. Bordos harvester deployed. Bordos unit deployed. Yep. I'm feeling good about that choice. Okay. I'm going to put this guy over here. Yes, sir. He can sit in the middle to antagonize anything that's dropped all the way down. Reporting. Just because there's so much, so many structures in the way, I'm going to place this guy here. Reporting. Move my quad over here. Reporting. Affirmative. Him up a bit. Reporting. He's in a good position. He's going to have to defend a lot of ground. Reporting. And... Acknowledge. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Reporting. So I've got Reporting. two harvesters doing their thing. Report. Haven't been spotted yet. Acknowledge. Reporting. Reporting. And now we wait. Harvester is going to be 150 credits here now. No, no, but carryalls are fairly cheap. Um, Reporting. I might have time Reporting. to snag a carryall for a good price too. Reporting. Acknowledged. Affirmative. It's kind of funny. The um, the in-game law, um, house autos doesn't really exist in the Dune Reporting. universe um, as defined by the books. I think it's mentioned offhand in like one one particular book somewhere that isn't really canon um Acknowledged. but they added it into the game just so that they had three different factions to play from and the description of the autos is that they're a um 
they're not necessarily like a noble old house of royals and old money and so on. Um, they're just a band of mercenaries that join together. Oh, that is really cheap. That is not so cheap. Definitely worth getting a harvester. It's always getting to the point where it's worth buying rocket launchers. That is a decent price. I'm not going to do it yet. Carriel, I would like to buy one for that price, but I don't think I am going to have time. Reporting. Acknowledged. Kordos Harvester deployed. Cause... I'm not so worried about this timing out. I can always get another um, frigate down. No, I think we're going to be good. As long as the price doesn't change. Let's go for it. Frigate has arrived. Um, the point I'm getting to is that in the in-game story, such as it is, it is actually I can use this. Kordos unit launched. Kordos uh, is going? deployed. Um, Reporting. Yeah, in the in-game lore, the Autos are meant to be this mercenary faction who just buy everything and spend money left, right and center to, to, to do well in their war effort. And you end up using the Starport for most of the late game when you're Autos. I don't know if that was planned. Or if they just came up with a story and then it just Reporting. ended up being the way that you ended up playing this faction. I don't know which way around that actually happened. Acknowledged. Dune 2 is not actually based on plot and story. Not like Dune 1. Yeah. I misread that as for at first. But yes, you're right. I think Dune 1, I've never actually played the original the original Dune 1. But yeah, the Dune 1 and 2 were released months apart or something. Just crazy crazy early 90s software management going on. Um I've never played it, but I have heard that it is very faithful to the original book. Acknowledged. I'll give it a go at some point. Um, I'm not as keen on like, um, yes, it's like an adventure Order. RPG sort of thing, isn't it? Construction complete. Yes, moving out. Construction complete. Um. Checking prices out of habit. I now need to start balancing construction complete. Balancing defense against planning here. I definitely need another silo. Another silo. A silo. Um Is this the bug? Cuz I only have a thousand credits worth of storage here. Construction Complete. Doesn't matter, I need to continue on. Um, the more I place, the more the situation Report. changes with Report. where I'm placing yes, units for base defense. Moving out. This is going to be the vi uh, heavy vehicle factory, this is going to be the repair, I need another... going to need another silo. I need to start spending some money here. That's cheap for a siege tank. That is super cheap for a carryall. Missile tank, I don't want one yet. Combat tank, yeah, I've got enough siege tanks at this point. That's about as cheap as an MCV goes, but I don't my strategy doesn't involve them. Um, what are we buying? A siege tank and a carry all. Perfect. Report acknowledged. This guy's scanning out a bit. Construction complete. Okay. This is a risk. We have a lot of very vulnerable, very light structures here. But 
we need that just to get enough Free money flowing around. Reporting, reporting. We have a good harvester operation. We've got a, two carryalls now. That's so about to work out of here. One, two, launched. good. Unit and another siege tank. I'm feeling really good about how this is going. So good, in fact, I'm going to save. That's that's how good I feel about this. Oh. Construction complete. Warning. Squish. Unit approaching. Squish. Affirmative. Acknowledge. Affirmative. Kaboom. Right. No, I'm going to build one block further out. Construction. As it turns out, I would like to do that. Report. Affirmative. Report. I'm going to bring these guys up. Because it's going to take me a little bit to build these turrets. Should not be getting deployed. Okay, he's still within sight of the. Warning. Okay, good. We're about to get a whole bunch of money to come in. <sighs> yeah, let's get three of those, just so that we have them. You know what? Construction complete. We have harvesters lining up to give us money. Reporting. Deviator. Affirmative. I'll let you hang around, I guess. So any moment now, I'm expecting a devastator, really, to pop out of here. Report. Affirmative. In fact, to give us a little bit more warning. Acknowledge. Affirmative. Report. Affirmative. Warning. Worms. I was about to say. Complete. Oh, good grief! There Affirmative. we go. Okay. Um, everybody out of the pool. Oh, what an awful time. Uh, he's, yeah. I mean... And I still have this deviator coming, okay. This is about to get really messy. Reporting. Did he just? Yes. Okay, <laughs> dokey. Uh, you're gonna go for a walk. We're gonna need. I'm gonna move these guys up because I'm feeling a bit nervous about base defense right now. Bordos unit deployed. Bordos unit deployed. Bordos unit deployed. Okay, the deviator is kind of giving us time to do things here. Bordos harvester deployed. Construction complete. Reporting. Not precisely as intended. Construction complete. Arcona unit destroyed. Okay. What I'm doing at this point is building another wind trap. Oh, that is deeply uncomfortable. Okay. How are we doing here? Turrets are fine. Reporting. Deviator is reporting. Holding these guys at bay. So clearly stuff's coming straight from the north. Construction complete. Reporting. Reporting. Construction complete. Acknowledge. Reporting. There goes a washer. Unit destroyed. Okay, 
I genu generally don't play using deviators very much. That's a good point. I should probably just be doing that. That would have made more sense to do. Alright, these two I'm just calling Warning, Arcona a panic build. Approaching. Construction complete. But most of these Reporting. units appear to be coming. Affirmative. Yeah. Reporting. You get lost. Okay, light stuff is coming from the right. Arcona unit destroyed. Construction complete. Our base is under attack. It's fine. Arcona unit destroyed. That's less fine. Report acknowledged. Arcona unit destroyed. What's the bet that tank's going to take out this concrete pad? Reporting. Acknowledged. Reporting. Construction complete. Okay. Starting to get low on. What are you doing here? Reporting. Go, be free. Affirmative. Affirmative. Reporting. Right. Um. Reporting. Reporting. Ignore. My little cache of launchers are coming over here now, so they're further away from the base. Reporting. I'm feeling good about my turret situation. Now I need to build more wind traps. Because they're getting pretty busy. Construction complete. One here, one there. Construction complete. The one here first, so that if an enemy is dropped in here, I can still rush Warning. in from both sides. Warning, Arcona unit approaching. <laughs> yeah, you better run. Um. And we've still got plenty of silos. Okay. I'm feeling good about this. Construction. Yeah, that's gonna go there. Uh, I think two more turrets just to be really comfortable. Report affirmative. With my level of defense here. Reporting. Affirmative. Meanwhile, these guys can be useful. Reporting. Acknowledge. Reporting. Acknowledge. Reporting. Although, like the last Reporting. game, I fully expected unexpectedly lose one. Reporting. Construction complete. Construction complete. Now, I remember reading at one point um, the likelihood of a deviator deviating an enemy unit depends on the house that a unit belongs to. So for example, it's a lot easier to turn a Harkonnen unit than it is to turn a, um, an Atreides unit. Reporting. Reporting. Construction complete. Oh. Report affirmative. Report acknowledged. Report affirmative. Report acknowledged. Our base is under attack. Reporting affirmative. That should be enough firepower. Report affirmative. Affirmative. Okay, Report. moving him here so that this guy stops firing anywhere near my base. Arcona unit destroyed. Re 
Yeah, please don't Report. hit my structures. Okay, they're taking care of that. Now let's spend some money. Arcona unit destroyed. Don't really need another harvester. Don't really need another one of those, but that's an okay price. That's parity. Construction complete. And now with both ambushes out of the way, Affirmative. Affirmative. Construction. these defensive units can. Can be a little bit more conservative than that with the placement of them. Um, Oh great, I have the bug where the carryall is now following a tanker around. Report acknowledged. Bordos unit deployed. Bordos unit deployed. So that'll probably be another deviator. Um, Reporting. Acknowledged. Construction complete. Yikes. Okay. Reporting. If you build a repair facility, you can march even a unit with not a scratch on it into there. That'll stop that unit from existing on the map, which will cause... Need another wind trap. Which should cause that carry all the fly off and actually drop that unit. <clears throat> oh, that is the worst possible... <laughs> uh... God, they're not going to destroy it either. No, don't. You know what, I'm losing the money anyway. Now. Reporting. Put this guy down here so we're prepared for the thing when it happens. Arcona unit destroyed. Construction so, complete. Mine factory gives arrived. us the ability to build all these. Repair. Bordos unit deployed. It's always when I sit down and want to play a game and actually talk to people that I get the frog in the throat. It's annoying. Construction complete. So, reporting. Acknowledge. Get in there. Bordos vehicle. Yep. Reporting. <laughs> and that's a deviator. Report yep. affirmative. It's entirely possible I've spent way too long playing this game as a kid. Bordos vehicle repaired. Reporting. He's gonna grab the other quad now too. Construction. Vehicle repaired. So, I've not played Dune 1. I have played Dune 2, obviously. This is probably one of my favourite games as a kid. Um, Dune 2000, I never got into because it just felt too much like Command and Conquer. Which I liked, but... I don't know, I didn't love quite as much as this. This feels like, I guess, a universe that I can control very precisely. I know everything about how it works, and... I 
I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this tail. So you're just gonna sit there, eh? Reporting. Acknowledge. Reporting. We're just gonna sit here. What do you think about that, eh? Right. Reporting. Report. Acknowledge. Reporting. Affirmative. Reporting. Report. Affirmative. Construction complete. Right, that Warning. builds that. Our current unit approaching. I think this level lets us build siege tanks, but we'll hold off on that for the moment. Actually, no, we won't. We need to spend some money. Yes, there we go. Our unit destroyed. Construction Unit cool. Now we don't need to upgrade this to build deviators, all we would need to do that is to build a house of X, which is this. We've had both of the ambush attacks, we've only revealed the one sandworm, I think. Reporting. Re so I'm going to continue to be cautious about where I put things. Construction complete. Reporting. Um. Acknowledge. Reporting. Acknowledge. Report. Acknowledge. Reporting. Bordos Harvester deployed. Affirmative. Reporting. Acknowledge. Seem to be putting all my heavy stuff over on the right, so let's do that. Reporting. Acknowledge. Reporting. Affirmative. Reporting. Acknowledge. Reporting. It's going across. Reporting. These guys can go across. Acknowledge. Yes, sir. Moving out. Lord of so you know what? Deployed. Troopers can just go for a Moving walk. Out. And we were at the unit cap already. Alright, let's just start Reporting. exploraminating. Reporting. Thought I told you. Oh, that's a different one. Affirmative. Okay. Reporting. Affirmative. Deviator, I'll keep Reporting. around. Launcher. Warning. Harkona unit approaching. Okay. So what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven thousand credits can be held in. Is that an 8,000th? That'll go here, and then I'll pop a wind trap here, and then that'll be the base complete. I'm not gonna... Oh. oh no, wait, I have just completely forgotten about... Construction complete. Ornithopters. Um... Construction complete. I can build a 2x3 here, and then a 2x2 two two here. And then the last wind trap can go there. So what do we got here? Heavy factory repair, outpost, refinery. Construction complete. We trap. We're also going to need a bit of wool here. Ordos unit destroyed. Construction complete. So,
Construction complete. And I was so proud about how I was setting complete. up my base. Warning, oh, well. Harkonnen unit approaching. Right, so here we need one of those. That'll go here, and then I'll put one more um, silo here. How are we doing for prices? Still out of stock. Okay, the usefulness of the starport has basically ceased at this point. Reporting. Acknowledged. Harkonnen unit destroyed. Acknowledged. Construction complete. Right. Upgrade so we can build ornithopters. And then we're not gonna do that. Can we not build ornithopters? No, because we're a level behind everything. Okay. Well, that was an expensive way to get another carryall. Alright, we'll be doing this the old fashioned way. Some regular tanks up there, they're going to attract things of interest. Acknowledge, reporting. Let's change up the way that goes. Construction complete. Bordos unit deployed. Affirmative. Warning, worm sign. Good. So he will not make it, okay. Bordos unit destroyed. Affirmative. This has not Reporting. gone as I had wanted. Uh, but what I am gonna do is move all of my stuff onto rock. And then the moment the sandworm has nothing of my side to attack. Oh, it's not going to go after the enemy. Warning, Harkonnen unit approaching. Report affirmative. <laughs> okay, nothing has really gone my way in the last minute or so. If I lure him over here, that'll be a much quicker way of destroying it. No, he wants the harvester. Okay. We're gonna sit looking at that for a while. And maybe build another carryall. Cool. As you are. The upside, I should not be able to build. No, maybe I already did. Build another tank. Construction complete. Hey! What, you want attention? What do you want? Our unit destroyed. Sorry, my cat is demanding attention. Reporting. You're still on the rocks. So one tank and two deviators, this is not exactly as I had planned, but is going to cause some interesting, interesting chaos. So if there's base up here, there's probably going to be, yep, there's the cat, hello. Warning, Harkonnen unit approaching.
Sorry, this is the uninteresting part of the stream where I have to pay attention to my cat for 10 minutes. Or she goes bonkers. Enough, you done? No. Okay. Yes, this is Abby. And she's okay. All right. gonna make playing this a little bit more difficult. Okay, how about... is that okay? Yes. Just figure out... what are you doing? Okay. Report, report, affirmative. Report, acknowledged. Report acknowledged. Report acknowledged. Report affirmative. Acknowledged. Report acknowledged. Report affirmative. Oh, very Reporting. interesting. Affirmative. Re affirmative. Can we still Report. harvest this? Report acknowledged. Reporting affirmative. Reporting. Reporting. Warning. Arcona unit approaching. Affirmative. Report. Acknowledged. Affirmative. Acknowledged. Acknowledged. Reporting. Yeah, there's a bug. In this game. Acknowledged. Where a deviated unit, if you tell it to attack something after it has already turned back, it will continue to do what you told it to do. So it's going to sit here and destroy. What is going on, Abby? Enemy structure destroyed. Okay, that rotation was absolutely necessary. Hello. Reporting. Report acknowledged. Arcona unit destroyed. Thanks. Acknowledged. Reporting. Acknowledged. Ah. Reporting. Reporting. Ordos unit destroyed. You did this, cat. Yes, sir. Reporting. Reporting. All right. Let's send this Salinas. Let's send this tank in. Affirmative. Our base is under attack. Reporting. Acknowledged. Ordos vehicle repaired. Reporting. Acknowledged. Reporting. Acknowledged. Um. So that was useful information. Destroyed. We now know. Here's where the construction yard is. This is their factory, which is also useful information. Warning, Harkona unit approaching. Harkona unit destroyed. Base is still intact, despite the best efforts of my cat. Harkona unit destroyed. Now we can build some more stuff, I think. So that's that's basically what uh, what my cat does. She'll come and demand attention for a good ten minutes. Um, we have to cuddle. Reporting. Acknowledged. 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 Affirmative. Affirmative. You know. Reporting. This is actually a good situation. Acknowledged. Acknowledged. Construction. Affirmative. Reporting. So... 
here's my feeling about bugs like this. At the end of the day, this is the way that the game operates. Acknowledged. Reporting. Acknowledged. Um... Reporting. This isn't a thing that will ever be fixed. Destroyed. This game is long... <sighs> to give you an idea of how out of development this game is, Reporting. I would put money on the fact that the source code for this game has been long lost to time. Now, there are fan efforts that do essentially hack the game. They, they change its behavior, um, correct certain things, tweak certain other things. Boros unit destroyed. Reporting. Affirmative. Warning. Harkona unit approaching. Acknowledged. Go for that. Essentially, what I'm getting at is this game has bugs. I'm going to exploit them. There's no real honor in, you know, playing... Okay, I'm probably going to annoy some people by saying this. I'm going to play the game with the bugs as they were. This is nostalgia. So I'm going to take advantage of this. Okay, I'm not going to say other people play it wrong. This is with the way that I play it. That works for me. Reporting. Affirmative. Affirmative. Enemy structure destroyed. Our base is under attack. Ordos vehicle repaired. Okay. Deviator now goes back to reporting. Harkonnen unit destroyed. Harkonnen yeah. unit destroyed. So this has been useful. I've just taken out their construction yard um, and some production facilities here. I can now start to assault the base in all seriousness. So... Reporting. Affirmative. Yeah, let's do this. Complete. So I've been streaming for two hours at this point. I had hoped to do mission six, seven, and at least one of the eights. I think I'm going to come to the end of this mission, which is mission seven, and then I'm going to have to call it for the day. Reporting. Acknowledge. Report. Affirmative. Report. Acknowledge. Affirmative. Harkonnen unit destroyed. Affirmative. Report. Affirmative. Report. Acknowledge. Reporting. Because like I said, it is a lovely day and I'd like to take advantage of that in some meaningful way. If this was a rocket launcher, I could be destroying some things right now, but because it's a deviator, I need to... Let's see if I can take out some more stuff here. How close can I get? I'm gonna rush the siege tank. That's gone really badly. Really, really badly. Okay. If that hadn't worked, if I hadn't gotten that with one shot, that deviator would be dead. But now I have this tank very obediently destroying this refinery. Ah, uh, very nearly got the uh, thing with it. Oh, this is bad. This is very, very bad. Bring the cat back. Hey, Oila, how's things? Thanks for joining. Reporting. Acknowledged. Now 
he's gonna get hit by. No, he's not. Warning, Harkonnen unit approaching. We're in a very odd situation. Um, at this point, I probably don't need to explain what a deviator is or does. Enemy structure destroyed. Is this easier than the RM? I'm not sure what you mean by that. What's RM? The remake. Ah. Uh, Is it easier? I'm going to say yes. Um, perhaps for different reasons. It's not that it's an easier campaign, it's that it's a much simpler game. So Dune 2000 is an effort at... Enemy structure destroyed. <sighs> What's the best way to put this? Harvester deployed. It's essentially a port of the game. Unit destroyed. Reporting. Oh, no, 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 no. Acknowledge. Affirmative. Harkonnen unit destroyed. Reporting. Basically, I think the game's a difference enough. Affirmative. Harkonnen unit destroyed. Reporting. Affirmative. Why did it shoot the wall? Because it automatically tried to shoot the turret. Harkonnen unit destroyed. Okay. Acknowledge. Yeah, this is Harkonnen going really well. Destroyed. Reporting. If this deviator doesn't destroyed. deviate this tank Warning. in Harkonnen one shot. Okay. Affirmative. Reporting. Acknowledge. Harkonnen unit destroyed. Yeah, this has just suddenly become very cheesy, Harkonnen but this is the way it's meant to be played with the deviators. Realistically. I now have this siege tank attacking the heavy factory, but he's going to hit the wall because that's in the way. Um, unlike Command and Conquer, stuff doesn't show. Uh, I can make more units, probably. Let me have a look. No, I actually can't. Because there are very harsh artificial limits in this game. So, with the context that this game was released in the very, very early 90s, uh, it was intended to be able to run on, you know, 486s, very early PCs. Um, yeah. Th this game was before Windows 95, significantly before it. Um, Reporting. Harkonnen unit destroyed. Harkonnen when was unit Windows? Destroyed. I feel like that, that 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 had to have been early nineties. I'm curious enough now. Windows. So three point one. Well, three point one one is what most. Yeah, three point one X. Okay, Windows three point one released April the sixth, nineteen ninety two. June 2 is December 92, so we, okay, Windows 3.1 is 6 months older than this game. They would not have had anywhere the time necessary to even think about Windows support. Uh, obviously as a DOS game it ran, it would have run under Windows in, in DOS mode. But yeah, this, this is a DOS game, this game was made for DOS. There was also a port for, uh, I think, Amiga. Um, and there's the uh, Genesis version that I posted a uh, video of in your Discord. There are sandworms, um, but I've already... Th there's only two that appear per level. We have angered. 
Unit we evangelize destroyed. something here. Yeah, they're both dead. Basically, they hide in the fog of war until you discover them. Then they get very angry. Okay, how are we doing here? What's the plan? So for some reason, the game sometimes gives turrets half health on the start. Uh, we're gonna have to do some brushing here. No, you can come back, because I don't want that carry all to die. Right, let's just rush the turrets. Cool, I think we've got just enough life left in these turret in these tanks to rush this one and then we'll retreat. Oh, this is not looking good. No, retreat, retreat, retreat. Just make new units. Do you have any idea what a siege tank costs? It's 600 credits, so I could afford it, but the point remains. Actually, we can buy a bunch of them for 480 credits. So, this, uh... Oh, I think I'll buy another one of those too. So this structure here, this is the starport. This is like the, um... I think this would have been the inspiration for having, um... Nod units appear via a, um, a little airfield. So, we can build, obviously, factories to, to build our own stuff. Or we can essentially order it. Um, with like a... The, the price of these is kind of randomized. Every couple of minutes it changes. Um, there's like a range of like 50% above and below. Um, so for example, combat tanks cost 300 credits to build, uh, but to buy they can cost anywhere between 150 and 450. Um, and then stuff can go out of stock as well, which is annoying. It just means even though the price is really good, I can't buy them. And then that is the case for all three houses. Everyone can use it, so it's not limited to like one faction like it is with Nod. Reporting. So this is going to be relatively easy. Um, we've kind of cheesed this because the having that one deviator that we still have hiding up here allowed us to take over enough units to destroy a whole bunch of stuff. So this is really we're already just mopping up this level. Reporting. After which I think I'm going to go into town and buy a pork roll for lunch. Alright, I'm going to use this guy to scout a little bit. He's probably going to get hit by a turret that's just over here. Any second now. No, there's no more. Okay. Let's move these tanks off a bit. Really? Are you going to come and fight? No. Fine. He's devastated, Ellie. Come on, come play. Reporting. Yep. Affirmative. Acknowledged. Warning. Harkona unit approaching. Report. Acknowledged. Cool. 
Falcone unit destroyed. Okay, um, there's not much left to do. Let's get some launches into place. This turret, oh, would be quite easy to rush and kill. Let's just do that right now. Should have them. Yeah. Reporting. Affirmative. Reporting. Affirmative. Reporting. Affirmative. Enemy structure destroyed. Okay. Reporting. Acknowledge. Enemy structure destroyed. Falcona unit destroyed. Falcona unit destroyed. Let's discover some stuff. Acknowledge. Reporting. Acknowledge. Right. Acknowledge. Reporting. Acknowledge. Reporting. Affirmative. Affirmative. Report acknowledged. Enemy structure cool. destroyed. Report affirmative. Report will he won't he know yes he will. Report report acknowledged. Report acknowledged. Reporting. Falcon and unit. That destroyed. went surprisingly well. So my carryall has just brought this tank back to the repair facility. He's now going to bring it back to where he was picked up. Why are you still getting... Well, that was quite careless of me. Um, and now we're going to get this flood of... Uh, flood of quads and infantry. Because those are the production unit uh, structures that are left in this enemy's base. Warning, unit approaching. Unit there goes one of my carryalls. Okay, this structure right here, that's going to be the um, the light factory. That's what's coming up with all these quads. That tank is not cooperating. Reporting, affirmative, reporting, affirmative, reporting, affirmative, report, squish. Affirmative, Move you back a square. Report, acknowledge, reporting, acknowledge, affirmative, reporting, acknowledge, report, acknowledge. Falcon unit destroyed. Cool. Maybe these guys back. Falcon unit destroyed. Bordos vehicle repaired. Reporting. Acknowledged. Report. Report. Acknowledged. Reporting. Yeah, we continue moving stuff up to the battlefield one by one. Affirmative. Report. Affirmative. Report. Acknowledged. Okay. Let's reporting. Acknowledge. Bordos vehicle repaired. Let's just rush the white factory and give it tanks. Acknowledge. Enemy structure destroyed. Cool. What's left? Wind trap. Wind trap. Wind Our trap. Wind trap. Destroyed. Repair. Is there no? There's no infantry. Uh, barracks. Okay. So like I said, this is just popping up. The reason we're being uncontested is the only units that are going to come near us at this point are ones that were placed at the beginning. They're just sitting there ready for base defense anyway. Let's just get rid of this turret. So you can see how very rarely the missile tanks are actually hitting it. As a kid, what I used to do was move a launcher just within its own range of a rocket turret and just let it fire at it forever until it finally lucked into destroying it. Um, that's the strategy you come up with when you are 10 years old. 
Reporting. Affirmative. Radar deactivated. Ah, uh, okay. Wait. I've ignored my base long enough that it's falling into disrepair. Radar activated. And we have no other use for this money, right? Let's just repair everything. What's what's shooting? What is what what is what? Okay. Reporting. Reporting. Affirmative. Enemy structure destroyed. Cool. And this is gonna be annoying, because he's behind this massive fence here. Yeah, let's, let's bait all the heavy tanks. What a good idea, launchers. Strategic genius of your ridiculousness knows no bounds. Okay. Four wind traps, and we're done. So. Let's get some of this wall out of the way. So now... Cool. That opens up this channel. Let's be cheeky, let's bring the Deviator back into play. Acknowledged. Report affirmative. Report yes sir. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. This is not what exactly what I intended to do. Infantry out. <laughs> okay. So now we have one of their troops confused enough to attack their launcher. And if we sat here for several hours. It would actually destroy that. What I wanted to do, before remembering there was a soldier there. Acknowledged. Reporting. Acknowledged. Reporting. Uh, okay. Acknowledged. Affirmative. Affirmative. Reporting. Acknowledged. Reporting. Affirmative. So now we have this friendly... Yes, sir. Oh, friendly trooper Moving as well. Out. I guess we'll Moving use out. him to uncover some of yes, this. Sir. Moving out. Warning. Falcon unit approaching. Infantry out. Reporting. Yeah, we're gonna lose the deviator. Guys, apparently I have a lot. Reporting. Acknowledge. Report. Acknowledge. Re reporting. Enemy structure destroyed. Affirmative. Report. Acknowledge. This launcher's usefulness to us has just ceased. Affirmative. Report. Affirmative. So let's get our launchers up here and just finish this. You can go for that one. You can go for that one. You can go for that one. Falcon and you destroyed. Enemy structure destroyed. Reporting. Acknowledged. Enemy structure right. destroyed. Reporting. Igno report. Acknowledged. Enemy. Your mission is complete.
Okay. So that's mission 7 done. So today we did 6 and 7. Um, I am going to call it a day here. It's been two and a half hours. I know some people stream for like 10 hours straight. I can't do that, that's not me. Um, I, have, I have things to do and I can't sit for that long. Um, I am going to try and stream again tomorrow because I can. I'm actually about to take a week off from work, so I'm going to have a lot of time for streaming and I want to try and get as much of this done as I can. Uh, so tomorrow's stream, I'm going to attack... Uh, I'm actually going to do both of these missions, as, which is why I've saved just before the end of that mission. Um, we're getting into the very last stages of this game. Basically where we are at the moment, we can either attack the Atreides territory or Harkonnen. And the difference it makes is that which side we pick to attack has a palace. So on top of the special units that each faction gets, so we had the Deviator, Harkonnen has the Devastator tank, Atreides has the Sonic tanks, which we haven't seen just yet. In addition to those, in missions 8 and 9, you have palaces. So the Ordo's palace lets us train a saboteur, which is a unit that runs at full speed across the map and destroys whatever it touches, which is really fun. Um, the Harkonnens get the Death Hand Missile, which they launch at a base. It's very inaccurate. It's like a little... It's like a cross between the missile launches and the Devastator tanks. It's fairly inaccurate, but when it does hit, it's very devastating. Um, and the Atreides, their thing is that it will spawn a small group of troopers, which are the Fremen, and they go and attack something in the enemy base. Um... And the point is, choosing between these two missions, one will give us uh, Fremen that will come and attack us, this one will start getting missiles launched at us. Uh, my plan for tomorrow will be to finish first one and then the other, so that we get to see both. And they're different, uh, they're different maps as well, so the, the dynamics of the actual game are a, bit, a little bit different. Um, so just to show you a little bit. Ah, of course. So, at the end of Mission 1, at the end of Mission 7, the game's copy protection thing comes in and asks you. Um, I know the answer to that is obviously Combat Tank, but just to show... Um, and True Neutral EV Genius. I don't know if you're still around, but if you are, you will find this very interesting. Because I happen to own uh, a box copy of this game, which I bought on eBay recently. Specifically, I guess, for the purposes of doing this. So, um, and I'll do this fun thing as well. So, in the box, I actually really love this cover art. Let me... That is so beautiful. So, um, box of floppies. It's lovely to see. The point of all this is that I have the physical manual, which includes all the information about units, which is the copy protection stuff. So what we want, combat tank. So, let me get just a little bit more tricky here. And I'm going to tell this camera to do the right thing. Which is to automatic focus on things. So. If I've done this correctly, I should be able to hold this up to my... Yeah, that's pretty clear. So... This webcam that I have over the over, overhead of my uh, desk is actually a 4K camera that I bought specifically for this purpose of showing off stuff, um, uh, manuals and interesting controllers, that sort of thing. So in the manual, you have all the different um, uh, stats of the units, what they are, and then the copy protection in the game, it tells you 
to give it very specific things out of the manual. So for example, if it, uh, okay, in this case, it's asking for the name of the combat tank, which we'll give it in a moment. Um, sometimes it asks for what armor level a unit has, which is a much easier thing. Uh, in, the, in the case of the combat tank, that is medium. But if it were to ask what armor, armament it has, it would full on be asking for that fear, which is 155 millimeter gun. Um, that's not light, medium, heavy, very heavy. So for a lot of these questions, you do need the manual or at least the information from it uh, in order to go past this. So what we will do, type in, I have the right window. It did not accept combat tank. I don't know what it wants. What is the armor level of this unit? Medium. There we go. So I'll pop that all away. And we'll have to do that uh, on tomorrow's stream as well. <laughs> I just want to do that because that's fun to do. Click back to the regular view. So yeah, that's that. Um, actually, just to save a bit of time, I'll call this 8.1. Alright, I'm going to call it there. Thank you very much for hanging out. Um, yeah, this has been super fun. Follow me on Twitch if you don't already to get notified when I go live. Um, follow me on Twitter. Sometimes I post stuff there. I have a YouTube channel as well. The URL for that is completely indecipherable thanks to the magic of YouTube, but it's there as well. I think I've got a link from my uh, Twitch page. and. On there I put a lot of highlights and some of the old VODs as well, so if you want to go back and catch something that you might have missed, there's always that. that they're also on Twitch for some small amount of time. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Stay safe, play hard. See you guys later.